Hello HP Touchpad users, today I want to show you a little bit of Fallout 1 running on Android. Now, I learned how to do this from another YouTube uh, user, uh, I think his name is MoteDD, uh, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but he put up a video recently of him running Fallout on his Asus Transformer. Now, I'm running this on the HP Touchpad and had to configure it a bunch. Now, in order to do this, you'll need DOSBox Turbo, which is a great application, and enables me to run this. You'll need the Fallout game, and you'll need to add a couple folders uh, and files in there for the Fallout game to run in DOS. So here I'm going to CD, change directory, and I have it in hard drive folder, HDD folder, and CD, Fallout, change directory to Fallout, and then Fallout to run the Fallout EXE in the file. Now you'll need a couple files in there to make it work in DOS. I've also added on a patch that lets me uh, add inventory items and equip my followers like Ian. And I've had to do quite a bit of modifications. Now I can make the video uh, music play back, but it's a little glitchy. So right now I'm going to have it off because it actually slows it down. Uh, the regular noises and sounds in the game will run, uh, but it does slow down. I'll show you that after. I'm still working on it to try to get it to run. Here there would be music playing over the intro, uh, but you can see the video playback actually does work quite well and the game itself is quite playable. Now I've quite, done quite a bit of modification to the config files uh, for DOSBox and Fallout. Mode DD also uh, did quite a bit of this and I've just kind of made it a little more tempered to the touchpad and from ex some experience from Fallout, since I'm a long time Fallout fan, I have some experience with modifying the Fallout config. So now this runs you know, reasonably well. Let's take a look. I'll be using a Logitech keyboard to help me out. Makes navigation a little bit easier, uh, but you can do it without a keyboard. Now I'm going to load up a saved game I have, and we're going to go on a little adventure together. And you can get a little taste of the experience with Fallout on Android. Now, a single click will be a left click of the mouse. A double click will be a right click of the mouse. It takes a little time to get used to. A keyboard really helps to play because you can use hotkeys, saving, loading, you know, this and that. But this gives you an idea of the load times. And I've made it, you know, load reasonably well, but uh, there has been a trade-off of sound quality. Here we are with my follower Ian behind me. Shady Sands. Now it helps to have the keyboard when you're navigating around because it just makes it a lot easier instead of endless clicking. Where are you? There you are. Now the clicking itself takes a little time to get used to. Like a single click and a double click. You have to be careful how quickly you click. Now the voice over uh, when you're talking to NPCs works fine. I'll show you that now and we're going to go on a quest together. Now a double click will change my cursor to a pointer so I can select the person and talk to them. Thank goodness you came. I am in desperate need of assistance. My daughter Tandy is missing. I do not know what to do. Now the audio playback works okay, but there's a slight hiss, and I've had to trade off the performance my for an audio are not skilled in problem. This. Already three patrols have gone out to look, but none returned. Will you help me? Okay, let's Seth help him. And I believe one of the raiders. Please talk to Seth. He knows much about these raiders. Okay, let's go talk to Seth. And I'll show you traveling on the world map. You can see, of course, it's not as fast as, you know, emulation. Emulation is generally about 10 times slower than running it in actual DOS. So it's quite taxing on my HP touchpad. I've overclocked the processor to 1.5 gigahertz to help. And I've also put on the Adreno 2XXX patch. 
but it seems quite playable. Sorry about my hands in the way. Let's talk to Seth here. Find out where the Raiders are located and agree to go get Tandy, who will be one day President Tandy of the new California Republic. Now I can turn on ambient noises, but it kind of makes a constant hiss in the background, so that's why it's off now. But then it does allow for uh, audio playback in the video, so I can show you that as well. I'm working on trying to figure out a way to get it to run harmoniously, uh, but because the software I'm using is both a beta, and we're emulating DOS, you know, it's a little bit of a tricky procedure. The Signage and Mod team has been doing an excellent job, it's just amazing that this will work at all. And here we're going to the Raiders camp, traveling across the main map. You can see it's quite playable. Now there'll be a little load time as we go into the base, and it's reasonable enough. Now I've been pretty uh, impressed with the performance so far. I've also tried putting full patches on, like would be in the regular full Fallout 1, uh, instead of just the DOS patch, but it did kind of slow it down. I'm still experimenting with that, trying to improve performance for you. This would be a good time to give me a big old thumbs up. Spent quite a bit of time modifying these files, and I'll supply them to you for download. So now we're in the Raiders camp. Just going to walk on in, switch up my submachine gun. Let's just go right on in and say hello. Now the most intense uh, parts will be, you know, when we're trying to load in a big fight scene. So that's what we're going to do right now. Scroll with the arrow keys. It's actually a little easier in some respects. Okay, now you're not allowed to have guns in here, so here they go attacking me. The audio quality is reasonable, but there is a slight hiss and distortion. Now I put the CPU cycles up to uh, improve the performance, but it did affect the sound quality. First fire. Gotta love Fallout. Big fan of Fallout. Now it's a turn-based game, which makes it a little more forgiving for the performance being a little slow. I'm sure once uh, the DOS box turbo gets updated, uh, the sound will run a little smoother, and that would help out a lot. I've been quite impressed with my purchase so far. Big thank you to the developers of that. And here comes my turn again. I'm going to double click, switch it to burst fire. And let's find the targets. Hail to the king, baby. Now let's skip the rest of my turn, let somebody else move in. He's the leader of the rival gang. There's my follower Ian, shooting me in the back. As you can see, there's a little bit of waiting. The performance is quite reasonable, and if you uh, are an old school gamer, you'll remember playing this back in the day on an older computer, and it would be kind of an experience like this. But to note, the ambient noise is off. This is my boomstick. Switch hands. 
Now I should note uh, with the NPC package, you can take things off of Ian or your follower by stealing from them. And they won't attack you or anything. You can do it at any time. Especially immediately once you get them, you'll want to take the money back from him that you paid him. And he has about half of it on him so you can trade for it. it looks like I've gotten in over my head here and down to 15 health. Ian's backing me up down there. But quite a playable experience if you remember Fallout. I'm sure you'll enjoy this too. I'll just go one more round with the big boss and then I'm going to show you uh, with the sound on for the videos which I'm working on. But it's, it's quite tricky, as I mentioned. Oh, yeah. Anyways, now I'm going to exit. So I want to show you that we can enable the sound. Now to do this, I'm going to go to the followed config file. And where music is at zero, I set it to one save it, and then transfer it onto my touchpad. Let's give me a moment. Now I'll provide both of these to download for you. Uh, so you can try it with the sound like in the movies and stuff too, or you could play it with the sound and then switch it off if you want. I I'm trying to get it going, but it's quite a bit of effort really. There's the file. Okay, now we can go back into DOSBox. Now start. We're going to CD change directory to wherever we have it. I have it in HD folder. So change directory again to the Fallout folder itself. And then type Fallout to run the Fallout EXE. Now this time around we should have sound going in. If anyone has a knowledge about the sound and would like to try to config the file a little, please help me out. I've been doing it a lot through trial and error, so it's been quite a tricky process. And this will be different from device to device. It's only been tested on the HP touchpad from here. As you can see, it works, uh, but when there's a lot of animation and audio playback for the video, it really sketches and has a hard time. You'll see here. And this is why I have it disabled, because it affects the video playback. Hey, don't annex my Canada. Hey, stop that. No. Okay, okay. Now, I'll show you, uh, like, the intro video, for instance. Uh, there is sound. Let's go to new game. Now you notice there's a little bit of a hiss in the background. Now that's because the ambient noise doesn't play properly, and that's causing a lot of the slowdown. Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. We can't make it another one. The process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. No water, no fault. This is crucial our survival. And frankly, I think you're the only hope we have. 
As you can see, it runs. But it's a little too sketchy. The game itself is a lot more playable once the video sound and ambient noises are turned off. If I'm able to figure out how to get it to run well together, or perhaps after an update it may run better, I'll post updates. Please again, give me a big thumbs up. And I'll try to modify this a little more for you. There we can see us starting in at the beginning of the game. You can see the load time. I'll let it load up for you. Big Fallout fan here. <laughs> Thanks to everyone else on the internet who posted information. The person who posted the information about putting the DOS together to run it in DOS. All the people, uh, the No Mutants Allowed website, who have been putting up patches for years and supporting Fallout. Always appreciate everyone's hard work on that. And here you can see us loading in at the very beginning of the Fallout game. Again, the performance is slightly affected due to uh, the ambient noises. You can kind of hear them in the background now. But unfortunately, they are a little blurry and muffled. But very playable still. I'll provide a download link, one with the ambient noise and video noise and without. As you can see, it does affect the playing. And it gets a little annoying because it's scratching the background. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, you'll need DOSBox Turbo. Great application. Thanks everyone who was involved. And Cyanogen Mod Team for making my touchpad usable. <laughs>